Hey guys, Alicia here where I'm all about making a passive income and also making money online. I'm so excited about this video. Um, I did a video a while back on how to cut your own handwriting and that was for, um, I'm sorry, that was for Cricut and Silhouette users. Well, this same concept really applies also to your print-on-demand products. So I use Printful. I know some people use other sites so I'm going to show you how to do it. And this is, I mean, what couldn't be a more, you know, a great gift idea than a personalized your own handwriting on a coffee mug to give as a gift, you know. So I think this would work too. Like if you have a child who's in grade school and you want to take something that they drew or, you know, something that they wrote and you wanted to do that, it would be a great gift idea. Um, you know, this is just, an, to me, um, a great way. It's very personalized because your handwriting is your signature. So that is you. Um, so I'm just going to jump right into this right here. The first thing that we need to do is we need to crop this photo. So I'm going to try to come over here. Okay, so that's how we do. We have it cropped. I'm also going to hit this auto fix button just because it makes it um, a little bit darker and I'm going to click apply and then I'm going to straighten this a little bit even though you can tell that my handwriting is a little bit going downhill so it pretty much looks straight already but we'll see. If you click on rotate and flip in ipicky.com you can kind of straighten this a little bit. So we're going to click apply. And I will leave a description to the video that I did um, on how to cut your own handwriting in the description below. And also to this site that I'm using, ipicky.com. It is completely free to use. Um, so we have this. Now, Printful is going to probably tell us that this image size is too small no matter what we do. So right now it's like 968. You know, we can try to make this just a little bit bigger. And then we are going to click apply. Okay, we're going to go ahead and save this image to our computer. And then we're going to close it. Okay, so the other site that I like to use, and I'll also link this in the description below, is lunapic.com. This is where we're going to get our PNG file um, and our transparent, our transparent background. So let me go ahead and close out of what I was doing before and go back into it. Okay, so we are going to open up our file. And with this, with one click of a button, we're going to take out the background. However, I want to warn you that when you're doing things like this, sometimes there's going to be some speckly spots and you can use the eraser button to take those out. And then sometimes they don't always show. So, you know, um, here's our eraser button over here. And really the only way that you could make sure that they were all out because you can't see all of them. There's a few over here. I don't know if you can see. And then I'll just go over here to this eraser. And we're going to take and erase as much as we can out anyway.
Okay, so we're going to click Apply Changes. And now this is our uh, PNG file. So we're going to click, um, we are going to save this image. And we're going to save as a PNG. And it's going to throw it down here at the bottom. And you can tell there were still a few little speckles on there, but for the purpose of this video, to not make it so long, we're going to click Save As. And then I'm just going to type moon.png. And we'll save it to our desktop. Okay. So now that we have done that, we're going to hop over to Printful and um, we're going to upload a, a file. And I already have this on here, so I'll just use this one. And it's telling me, you know, we strongly suggest a larger file size, but it's really not too bad. And once again, this is, you know, our handwriting. So we'll click continue. And then when we preview this, I'm not sure what it is with Printful, but it always does this. It takes the, it puts it over here. <laughs> I know we can drag it over some. I, let me try that. Let me see if I can. I'm not sure if I can or not, but actually, um, Let's edit it. Let me see if I can try pulling it over here and what it would do. Because I know this is the right side of it. Okay. Well, that's pretty decent, but I'm going to do something a little bit better. But look at this. So there's my handwriting, and it's on a coffee mug. And I just absolutely love it. Think about if you had you know, your child's artwork, or if you had your child's handwriting on a coffee mug and you gave it to, you know, as a gift for grandma and grandpa or something like that. I just think this is just an awesome idea. I'm just loving this. So we're going to hop back over here to iPicky. And I like to use, when I am uploading something to Etsy, I like to use mock-up photos. And I also just want to say that when you go to upload this file to Etsy, um, you want to make sure with Printful that you're creating manual orders. You need to tell them that they need to email you a picture of the handwriting so that you can do that for them. So that's, you know, it's not going to be... Um, on that with handwriting, you'll actually have to, you know, submit a manual order. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to upload my um, coffee mug mock-up. Photo. And then we're going to click to edit. And this is just a really pretty, it just makes it look so much better. So we're going to click on this layering effect here um, where it says designer add text, stickers, and images. It looks like three pieces of paper stacked on top of each other. And it's just loading. And this, what we're going to do next is we're going to add our PNG file and we're going to drag it over onto this coffee mug. So let me upload. So that's the JPEG. Okay. So is what we're going to do is we're just going to drag this over here and we're going to resize it a little bit. And there we go. So there is my handwriting. And I would love to give this as a gift for my mom with my handwriting on it. 
or, you know, there's also other ideas that you can do with this, um, you know, such as um, you can take, like, your grandmother's handwriting if, you know, let's say she had passed away years ago or something like that. This is just a great gift idea that you can put onto products. I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I have. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Also, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you will be notified when I upload um, future videos because I am all about making passive and uh, supplemental income online. Thanks for watching and I hope everyone has had a wonderful day.